All right, what's up, Fishaholics? And uh, I'm working my way to the beach, and uh, I'm gonna start off this morning fishing the South Side Rocks. And uh, it's, today's a beautiful October day, you know, fall day. It's uh, October 12th, and uh, originally I actually had an all-day charter, but uh, that charter got canceled for the day. So I was like, hey, I guess I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> you know, what else do you do in Montauk? And, um, you know, I really had no plan of where I was going to go or where I was going to fish, but, you know, I decided I'm just going to hit a bunch of different areas. I'm going to start off on the south side rocks, hopefully find some fish, and if I don't, I'm just going to keep moving. You know, maybe I'll hit the sand beach or, you know, I'll head over to the north side, throw the kayak in. You know, I'm going to be just a really open book today just to try and put some fish on the beach or in the kayak. But uh, let's see what happens. Let's catch some fish. It is just absolutely gorgeous out here today. It's almost like a summer day. <laughs> I'm sweating in my outfit here. I might end up in my bathing suit by the end of the day. This water looks like super clear. It's awesome. I don't think I've seen the water this clear all summer and fall yet. It's like a turquoise blue, it's gorgeous. Wait for this wave to go by. All right, up on top of my rock. I'm gonna give it like 15, 20 minutes here and then I'm probably gonna keep moving east and um, you know, see if I can find you know, some fish in other locations if I can't find fish here. I'm going to start off casting with this 5 inch Tsunami Talking Popper and uh, I've never fished with the Tsunami Talking Popper so uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how it works. It has some good action I can see already and uh, I have a lot of white water in front of me so if there's stripers around they might jump up and hit this think it's like a little porgy or you know a little bunker you know a mackerel it's got a mackerel pattern on it or uh, they might think it's like a snapper blue you know, it's just a small bait fish imitation that, you know, hopefully a stripers will like. Let's give it a shot. I'm definitely liking the action of this uh, talking popper. Definitely looks really good. I might have to switch to something else though, like a swim bait or a bucktail because it's kind of late in the morning. Usually pencil poppers are better you know, like crack of dawn, or like first light. All right, well, I gave this spot like 30, 40 minutes, tried various different lures, green bucktails, white bucktails, the uh, talking popper, Polaris popper, a bunch of different stuff, not even a tap, didn't really see any fish, no bait, and uh, I would keep fishing, but you know, after two hours of fishing and fishing three really good spots and without a tap or, you know, no fish, and uh, you know, I'm looking down the beach and the water does look good down the beach, but you know, so does this water right here, and, uh, and the water that I already covered and uh, you know I still didn't catch a fish and there's a chance that I can go to the north side and catch some blackfish so I might as well you know take advantage of that and uh, you know the season's open maybe I can have some fun you know and, and catch myself some dinner all right well this looks pretty good I'm all rigged up for togging got my seven foot six medium power light tackle mojo inshore spinning rod rigged up for tog and uh, I'm pretty much set to go except for, except this container here is empty and uh, you know what that means I gotta find some bait some crabs Asian crabs tide is pretty much low or it's you know getting towards the end of the outgoing tide so that's the best time to collect some bait and uh, then the best time to tog fish, in my opinion, would be the incoming tide. It's 
rock here looks pretty good. Nothing. Wow. That's not good. This is really strange right now. I've lifted over like seven or eight rocks in this prime Asian crab hotspot and I haven't found one crab. It's gonna be hard to blackfish without crabs. <laughs> oh, here's a couple. This is basically what I'm looking for right there. A delicious little crab. I saw a couple under this rock here. Bunch of really tiny ones, and then there was that one large one. Oh, this one here is really tiny. Oh, I dropped them. But I think he'll still work because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using a real small little hook. Guys, I think I'm all set. Got a bunch of crabs. I definitely think that should be good. Look at the size of this one that I found though. He's like massive. And he only has three or two legs and one pincher. That's crazy. I'm gonna probably have to cut this one into like fours in order to use it for bait. I'm using a really small little hook. And uh, the bait that'll be perfect is something like that. Whoa. That'll be like the perfect size tog bait right there for the size hook that I'm using. I'll put that whole crab on there, and uh, if there's any tog down there, they're gonna totally eat that right up. Let's get fishing. Big seagull just chilling. Perfect little crab right there. I'm using a dropper loop rig with this small little size one Kamigatsu, you know, octopus hook. And uh, then I'm using a one ounce flat sinker that hopefully will prevent me from uh, snagging up as much in the rocks. And then I'm using 15 pound test uh, blue label fluorocarbon, sea, um, you know, cigar fluorocarbon. I should be using 20, but you know I'm gonna go with 15 because that's what I already had rigged up and set up. So let's see how that works. Just let them chill down there, and that's it. Time to start the waiting game. Oh, got something. Oh, no. There he is, fish on. First fish of the day, guys. It might be a blackfish. Oh, it looks like a blackfish. First blackfish of the season. Woo, look at that one right there. It's a monster. <laughs> no. Yeah, just catching them on the crabs, and um, this is a really tiny one. When I catch them in Rhode Island, they're like that big. You know, there might be a keeper here though. This is probably like five inches short for from a keeper. They got to be 16 inches to keep. All right, guys, let's get a release on the first black fish of the day. There he goes. That was like a ginormous blackfish as you guys can tell but at least that broke the ice caught the first one of the day and uh, I probably had to go through like 
I don't know, maybe 15 crabs to get that one blackfish. Hopefully it doesn't take me another 15 crabs to catch another blackfish. Fish on! Look at this monster right here. Woo! Future blackfish. After I caught that first one, I really didn't think I could catch any smaller than that but after that little one I don't know oh that was a good hit starting to get a lot of hits now I think the incoming tides turning on the fish lost my crab I think it's a giant. Oh, he almost took me onto the rock. Even though they're small, they're still putting a pretty good fight on this little tiny uh, light tackle rod here. Hey buddy. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, today was a tough day. Today was a really tough day. You know, I hit the south side and uh, couldn't find any stripers, not even a bluefish. And uh, then I was like, you know what, I want to go tog fishing. So I came here to the inlet and at least I caught some tog, you know, the first of the season. And uh, this was my first time tog fishing of the season. And uh, it, it really makes me miss Rhode Island tog fishing because that's where I first started tog fishing. And, uh, you know, the fishing up there is just phenomenal for Tog. And uh, Montauk, it, you know, I'm sure it's great in some areas, but, you know, I really haven't explored Montauk, you know, for, for to Tog. You know, I you know, I fish Rhode Island pretty heavy for Tog, but, um, you know, not really Montauk. Usually I'm here striper fishing or fluking or, you know, chasing albies or something like that, especially in the fall. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, check out the description below for any more information about tackle and equipment. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live. Hope you guys are getting out on the water and catching some fish.